another 25th anniversary LEGO Star Wars set, apparently releasing May 1st, 2024, was just revealed, which is Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. This was from JB Spill Warren. Now, in the United States, this will retail for $70 with 640 pieces and four minifigures. Qui-Gon Jinn, Anakin Skywalker, Darth Maul, and Saw Gerrera. Now, the one thing I love about this set is our first minifigure for Saw Gerrera. Is this the first Forrest Whitaker minifigure in general? Sorry, when I look at a minifigure, I think of the actor. The design of this just looks fantastic. I absolutely love this armor piece they use with exclusive printing. It's great to get that in green. The design of the legs has some nice printing as well. I also like the cape they use, which seems like it might even be a different material than usual capes. I also kind of wish that they didn't go with black for the color of his hair. I think a darker gray would have been better. We don't have that piece in a dark gray color. That does seem a little bit like a misstep. It's really cool to get a minifigure of him since the Rogue One sets totally missed this character. It isn't cool that they're just throwing him into a prequel set that really has nothing to do with the Saw Gerrera character. This just feels like a random throw in. Like it's specifically the Saw Gerrera from Rogue One. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad we're getting the figure, but like, can you just put this as like a $5 poly bag or something? Like you really have to throw it into a completely unrelated set. But that's how something like this sells, because if you look at this compared to the 2015 one, which was our last Sith Infiltrator full size, it's a downsize that's noticeable. This new one just looks like something closer to a $40 set, but it's $70. I guess if you're a price for piece ratio person, it's not that bad. Or what is it, 640 pieces? But it just looks so small and downscale, even compared to last Sith Infiltrator. I can't believe this is a $70 set. I can believe this is a $70 set in the year 2024. Like to me, it's most noticeable with the <laughs> snoot of the vehicle, <laughs> where it just looks so much more blocky in the newer version. The 2015 one just had a lot more of the shaping that the actual vehicle has. Also, the 2015 one had Watto. That's the last time we got Watto, too. It would have been cool to throw in Watto in this set since he's a character that doesn't come in sets. But part of me is like, oh, is LEGO even getting to the point where they find Watto offensive? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But for now, let me know what you think of this new Sith Infiltrator 25th anniversary set. Are you in the same camp as me where you're really not hot on the interpretation of the Sith Infiltrator and you're kind of annoyed that they just put in a Saw Gerrera here, but you do love the Saw Gerrera minifigure? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you later. Peace out.